So I had a student come to me and say, coach, you know, I read the book, The Five Love Languages, and, you know, I know what my love language is, and I'm giving it, and, and, and he's not responding, and he still doesn't think that I love him. And I explained to her, I said, your love language is actually killing your relationship. And she said, what? I said, here's why. For instance, I love the book, The Five Love Languages. And so let's say hypothetically, your love language is receiving gifts, okay? Okay. And what we mostly do is we begin thinking about how we receive love and we start giving love that way. So if your love language is receiving gifts, you feel love when somebody starts giving you gifts. The first thing you do is you begin giving gifts. Now, you've, you, many people are not interested in what the other person feels. So what happens is you start giving the gifts, start giving the gifts, start giving the gifts. And you're thinking, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do just to show you that I love you. But what happens is there's one missing component is that you have not identified the other person's love language. So if the other person's love language is quality time. And you're not spending quality time. You're not even thinking about that. And you keep saying, I'm showing you how much I love you by giving you gifts. Well, what's happening is the other person doesn't believe that you love them. The other person, you're not expressing your love as it pertains to them. And so a lot of people say, well, I'm just going to give it the way I give it. And I say, well, what's going to happen is your relationship is going to die because the other person does not feel that they're being loved in the relationship. So what do you do? Start finding out. There's a test online, five love languages. Find out what your partner's love language is and begin giving them love the way they need it, the way they want it, the way they feel loved.